Hi, welcome to the fifth topic of the section Ingest and Transform Data by using Power BI, which is part of the first learning path Query and Transform Data. The topic for this video is to create queries, functions, and parameters by using the Power Query Advanced Editor. This topic is not about using the Power Query user interface to create queries, parameters, and custom functions. It is about using the Power Query Advanced Editor to do the same job. So we should expect questions on the DP500 exam where we need to understand the M script and some of the commonly used M functions. So there could be questions in a fill in the blank scenario where we need to pick the right function and select it from the given options. So in terms of the M script, there needs to be an understanding about some of the commonly used M functions used in data extraction and transformations. So some of these common transformations include renaming of columns, removing columns, merge operations for both columns and tables, append operations, pivoting and unpivoting, replacing values, creating custom and conditional columns, and many other such scenarios. So we should be familiar with the names and syntax of the functions used in these transformations. I'm sharing a link in the description of this video that has a list of the M function supported in Power Query on the Microsoft Learn website. So here is the Microsoft Learn website and we have the Power Query M function reference list. So here we have a lot of categories. So there are uh, hundreds of functions uh, which are part of the M script. So you can just look at some of the commonly used functions as just described in the video and just be familiar with what is the syntax and where in the M script we can use these functions. So next we have parameters. Parameters are used in Power Query to pass the values to other queries. A parameter serves as a way to easily store and manage a value that can be reused. Parameters give us the flexibility to dynamically change the output of queries depending on their values. So parameters can be passed as a single value or as a list. So these parameters also serve as input to custom functions. And as we have just seen that we can change the argument values for particular transform and data source functions. So lastly, we have custom functions in Power Query. In the Power Query M formula language, a function is a mapping from a set of input values to a single output value as, and is created from the native M functions and operators. A function is written by first naming the function parameters and then providing an expression to compute the result of the function. The body of the function follows this symbol. A function is defined and invoked in the body of a let statement. So now what we will do is that we will build a short example on using parameters and custom functions and then focus on the M code that how parameters and custom functions show up within the M script. So the focus is not building these parameters and custom functions using the user interface, but instead looking at the M script. So let's go and do this example in Power BI and this example file has been provided in the supporting material as well. Before I actually go in Power BI, I'm going to just briefly talk about the link that we are going to use in that example. So what we are going to do is that we are going to connect to this uh, URL uh, inside of Power Query. And this URL points to a very famous website, which is espncrickinfo.com. This is a website about different statistics related to the sport, sport of cricket. And in this particular URL, we are looking at the match results from the year 2000. So these are the match results, as you can see. So uh, it shows the test match was played between uh, which teams, what uh, which team was the winner, what was the winning margin, which ground this test match was played, and what date this test match was, was played. So we are going to import this table inside of Power BI. And then we are going to see the process that how we can parameterize this, this particular query and then how we can create a custom function. So now let's go and see this example in Power BI. So let's 
so right now i am inside power bi and inside the power query editor and i am going to use the web connector to connect to the particular url that i just showed so now let's do that so i have pasted the url and i am going to click on okay so i am shown a preview of the possible tables on this website and the one of our interest is this match results table that we need to import so i'm going to click on ok and put bring this inside power query editor so here we see the match results table or the match results query and i'm going to do a couple of transformations here and then we are going to have a look at the applied steps here area here so what I have done here is that I have promoted the headers and changed the data types of some of these columns. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go inside the advanced editor and have a look at what script has been generated for all these applied steps. So we are inside the advanced editor and the area of interest for us is in fact this whole script which has one line each for each of the applied steps that we just saw in the query editor and here inside the, this uh, this advanced editor if we have a look at the first line it contains the url that was used to connect to the web to this website and here we see that this is id is equal to 2000 because we selected the year 2000 to see the match results from just this year so now what we are going to do is that we are going to parameterize this query and we are going to come back to this script again and see what changes actually happen once we do the parameterization because our interest is the m script that is generated we are not interested in looking at what steps are done in the ui but we are just interested in looking at what changes actually happen inside the M script. So now let's go create a parameter and then come back to this advanced editor again. So what I've done here is that I've created a parameter by the name year and I've given it an initial value or current value of 2000 and I have put the type of this parameter as text because we have to use this within a URL which is in fact a, 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 a string so it has to be a text value so this is all I have done and I have given it a value of 2000 so now let's see what changes need to be done inside the initial URL where we need to incorporate this uh, parameter that we just created so what I've done here is that I have split the initial URL into three parts where the focus is to isolate the part of the URL that contains the value of the year 2000. So now what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to select the parameter value and instead of 2000, now I have the year part selected here. So now uh, I have done the parameterization required for my URL. Now I'm going to go back into Power Query and see how I can use this parameter. So after modifying the URL, I'm going to change the value of the parameter here from let's say 2000 to 2021. And I've clicked on match results again, and it is now computing the results for the year 2021. So now you see here that in the data area, instead of 2000, I'm seeing the results from the year 2021. So now let's go and have a look at what happened in the M script within the advanced editor. So now I am inside the advanced editor and if I go and have a look at my URL, I can clearly see that the parameter I just created is now a part of my URL. So I should be aware of the changes that actually happen inside the M script once I create a parameter and use it inside my, uh, my initial M script. So rest of the script, it remains the same. So this is the part that you need to keep in mind for the DP500 exam. Now I'm going to go back and now we are going to create a custom function and then come back here and see what changes happen in the M script. So I am back in my query editor and now I'm going to 
change this match results query into a custom function. So I can do that by right clicking here and selecting create function. So it is asking for a name. So let's give it a name. So I'm giving it a name get matches so that I can use this parameter here to get the matches for the particular year I want. So I have named this get matches and I'm going to click on OK. So what has happened here has that the name that we gave get matches a separate folder for that has been created and inside this get matches folder we have the query match results we have the parameter here and we have now a custom function by the name of get matches and here it is asking for the user to give the parameter uh, for the value of year and then we can use this to invoke this this particular custom function so now let's go and do that so now i'm going to give the value to this parameter so now i'm going to give this value let's say i say 2020 and invoke this custom function and it returns the query where the results are now from the year 2020 so every time I go and invoke this custom function after providing a value, it's going to create a new query by the name of invoke function, which has the result for the, for the test matches for the particular year that I give here in this parameter. So now we are going to go back to Power Query ad, uh, Advanced Editor and have a look at the M script that was generated for this get matches custom function. So we are inside the advanced editor and if we have a look at the M script that has been generated immediately we can find that instead of having just one let and in type uh, syntax we have another let in statement that has been inserted into this M script. So now let's copy this script and take it to our slide, uh, slide deck and do a side by side comparison of the initial script and the script that has been generated after we have uh, you know created the custom function so here we see the m script for both the queries that were that was initially parameterized and the get matches custom function and here if we have a look we find that the parameterized query is embedded inside the get matches custom function in this part and the only difference that we see here is the part that is highlighted in red which is which specifies the custom function so like we discussed earlier we have this symbol here then we have the parameter here which is um, declared as a text parameter and then we have an another let in combination that encapsulates the initial query so this is the change in the m script that we see between this get matches query and the initial parameterized M res match results query. So you should be familiar with these kinds of changes within the M script and how we can use this kind of a syntax to generate custom functions and parameterize our queries. That is the part that normally comes in the DP500 exam question. So that was all about queries, parameters and custom functions. So I'll see you in the next video.